Hey guys, wanted to make a quick video regarding um, the headphone audio jack not working on the DJRB controller. Um, looked online, didn't really find any answers. Um, so, I mean, I, I ended up uninstalling the program, reinstalling the program, doing pretty much everything I thought could possibly fix the problem. Didn't work. So I ended up emailing Pioneer, um, and basically they just sent me a link to a driver. Um, oh, that's not what I want. All right, so here's preferences, right? So usually what I was seeing is I didn't have this DDJRB. Uh, I didn't have that option. Um, it would just say built-in output, and that was the problem. Um, it, it's not just built-in output. You need to have the, DDJ, the DDJRB, uh, this, this little thing for it to work. So I guess it's just a driver that I didn't have or that I didn't um, click or something. So I'm trying to explain it here. They sent me a link to this uh, th this zip file here, which is the audio driver installer. And then they also sent me the uninstaller, or I guess it came in the zip, um, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And then they also sent me this troubleshooting, the th file which is pretty much just the instructions on how to do it which I would recommend also downloading that and taking a look through that I'll put that link in the description as well um, when I did basically I uninstalled everything using this uh, it doesn't uninstall the program uh, I I think it just uninstalls the, uh, the driver um, but not all of the drivers so when you go into record box and you click on driver this comes up right I had a bunch of other drivers so I I deleted all those I believe you really just need this um, I have these other two which uh, I, and these are the same obviously but um, I think you really just need this one driver so if you have a bunch I would just delete all of them that's what I did at least and uh, just have that one in this in this drivers file but um, for you guys, oh, where'd it go? Basically, just use this uninstaller. Um, do that. Go into your record box. Click driver. Delete all those other drivers. Then go ahead and install this driver. And read the instructions because when you install that driver, it's going to say something about security preferences. You're going to have to go into your system preferences. It all explains this in the instructions. So go ahead and go through that real quick. Um, basically, you just have to allow it to, to use your mic or uh, I don't think you have to mess around with the firewall or anything. It's something else, but read the instructions. Go ahead and um, it, it, it will uh, explain that. So, you know what? I'm just going to show you guys the instructions, actually. Oh, shit. So yeah, it's uh, th this general thing will come up, and all you have to do is just press allow right there, and then it will ask if you uh, if it can use your laptop's mic or whatever. Uh, go ahead and accept that, of course, and you guys should be good. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Um, th that should work though, um, should work. So, and when you're installing this, go ahead and leave your controller unplugged. I don't know if that really matters at all, but uh, it. It kind of didn't want to, I was kind of having problems when it was installed or when the controller was plugged in. So I don't know. I would just leave it, leave it unplugged. But once you install the driver, go ahead and plug it in and this thing should, should come up just like it did for me. All right. So hopefully that helps. Uh, you know, I didn't see any videos addressing this or anything. I didn't see any uh, answers really. So they sent me this link, go ahead and download that link, uh, uninstall everything, delete those files, follow the instructions. And you guys should be good. All right.